going to make a how-to video on how to remove a GoPro adhesive mount from a windshield. I've seen several out there on the YouTube, but they involved using a uh, heat gun, and it's a little bit cold out right now, so I didn't really want to try heating up my windshield with a heat gun or a hairdryer and risk cracking my windshield. It may have been okay, but uh, <laughs> I'm going to try a couple other ways first. I have a pry bar that I got from Harbor Freight. It's just out of a kit, an automotive kit for like removing automotive plugs and those little adhesive, uh, not adhesive, but um, the little plastic inserts that hold moldings and trims and so forth. I think it was a six piece kit for like seven or eight dollars. I'm going to give this a shot first to see if that'll work by chance. Save me some heartache from my broken windshield, hopefully. I just put this adhesive mount on here about oh, 30 minutes ago and realized I didn't like the place placement of it. Oh. It looks like that worked out pretty good. It was up here with, I think this is an antenna, an internal antenna that's made into the windshield. So I had kind of placed it on that and I was afraid if it got stuck real good, I might mess this up. It may not be an antenna, it may just be a black, sh like a shield for sun, but I think it is an antenna of some sort built into the, I don't know, but whatever it is, I didn't want to risk messing that up with a heat gun or a hair dryer so it looks like that worked out pretty good I've got another one over here I think I'm going to remove also I think I'm just going to start using the suction cup mount instead of these adhesive mounts but I mounted another one over here away from this so I'm going to go ahead and remove that one I believe while I'm at it and I just use a suction cup mount I'm going to hop in the other side of the truck here Okay, let's hope this one comes off just as easy. Scoot up a little bit so I can get a better leverage on it here. And let's see what happens. Oh yeah, this is going to be much easier. Oh yeah, I took about 10 or 15 seconds. I do still have some residue. Put those somewhere where they won't stick to something else. But I do still have some residue that I need to remove here and here. I'll take care of that with some glue gone. Maybe some alcohol. Just some alcohol. Be right back. Okay, I went in the house and grabbed some 91% alcohol. I think this is just from Walmart's. But I'm going to try this first and see if this will remove this left, leftover adhesive. It's one less thing that I have to... Oh yeah, it's coming off real good. I was going to use Goo Gone, try Goo Gone, but then I fared well. That may take it off, but then I still have to turn around and remove the Goo Gone with alcohol. So let me try just to make it one step here with the alcohol first. And it looks like that's working out real well. Oh yeah. We are golden. No adhesive, no mount. Life is good. A little bit more adhesive right there. I don't know what that is. Beautiful. What is that? Oh, no. Not 
supposed to be there. And I think I'm just moving that adhesive from one place to another. There we go, I think. Okay, so that took about Oh, probably about a minute's worth of work. Five minutes running back and forth. Just used the uh, scraper again from Harbor Freight. I think it was $6.99 or $7.99 for a six-pack. I'll uh, look it up for sure and find the right tool. And that removes the windshield mounts in about 30 seconds or less. And then just use some 91% alcohol to remove the leftover adhesive. You can probably use a lesser percentage. I think it comes in 70 and maybe 60 or 55 or something like that. But I just used that because that's what I had. I was cleaning my windshield to get a good surface for the mount to stick to to begin with. And I ended up removing it about 20 minutes later. So, thanks for watching. Hope that helps. Hope that saves you a little bit of time with the uh, heat gun. And I don't know if, they, if this will work once. I think you're supposed to let them set up for 72 hours. So once the adhesive mount has set up, I don't know if this will still work. But give it a try. And it definitely works for one that's been up for about 10 or 15 minutes. Thanks for watching. Bye -bye. I pulled up the pry bar that I used to remove the adhesive mount from the GoPro on the truck windshield. It was uh, $8.99 at Harbor Freight's store. It looks like the trim and molding tool five piece set. And I used this one. I believe that is to like, reach inside of door jams and so forth to pull up those side panels. I'm not 100% sure but I think that's what it is. But that worked out pretty good. So there it is. It's uh, item number 67021. If you want to order it online, you can probably, I think you can get it on Amazon too. But I just happened to be at Harbor Freight looking for this for something else. Oh, to change the cabin air filter in the car.